couple of days, but happy to very happy to be back. Um, nice to see the smaller group, and I hear that lots has been happening, but I think I've missed out on a lot of it. Recording has started, so we have <clears throat> lots of announcements happening. We're into week four. So who's still alive and uh, who's still alive and present here in week four? Everyone's still here. How's it been? How's it been so far? You will. Do you want to unmute and just let us know how have you been? Bethlehem, hi. Michael, you guys are all still here. Wonderful. You will. How are you doing? I'm. I'm good. I'm. I'm. I'm doing. I'm doing great. Has it been? Uh, <laughs> how have you been keeping up? It's been a really hectic uh, week uh, for me, uh, week three. But I just kept going, 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 and now here we go, another week. What what's hec What's hectic? Uh, it's been really hectic because of all the non-technical assignments. Additionally, on those, on top of the technical assignments, mm. plus uh, I'm new to uh, deep learning stuff, so a lot of reading happening to me. Okay. So I was trying to be on top of my game, and I think I am. Okay. How how, is, how do you feel about the amount of about, uh, about your learning so far? Has it been a useful three weeks? It's been great. I've, I've learned a lot, than, more than I expected. Okay. And that's really amazed me also. If you, um, if you were us and you could control the speed of driving, would you speed up, slow down, stay the same speed? Uh, I think a bit slow down. I'm not sure. OK. And would you keep the steering wheel in the same direction, or would you turn a little bit? Uh, I think uh, the tasks are. Uh, I'm thinking that the tasks are if if it's uh, if it's a bit you know uh, sequential. Like if we know this stuff first, then for the next week it will be better if we added this one. I think the the misplacement of the arrangement of the the tasks. That would be it. You would change the okay. So you're in terms of steering, you may change the placement of the tasks and you would slow down a little bit mm, yeah I think so okay um, how do you feel about the other people around you are you so when I I, came, I logged back on and I saw that there wasn't a huge a lot of chat there wasn't a lot of the discussion um, can how do you feel about that or can you help me understand that um, I think we're chatting a bit but yeah. uh, most of us are using different platform than Rocket Chat, I think that's why. Is Rocket Chat that bad? Uh, per personally, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I have to be honest with this. No, no, no we, we, we want an honest answer. OK. Uh, I've installed the mobile app, and it <laughs> didn't send me a notification. So I was really yeah. pissed off about that. Uh, and I uh, missed some important town hall sessions that I was expecting to attend. But yeah. finally, I got them in YouTube. Yeah, the notifications are definitely a problem. OK. Um, great. And can you tell us one positive thing about last week? Your top okay. thing. Tell us one positive thing about last week. Uh, it has been really great. Uh, I've worked with uh, my team. And it was really interesting to see. Even I met with my mentor. And I, I, I really learned a lot about uh, deep learning stuff that I didn't expect to achieve this within this short amount of time. And that okay. really boosts my inspiration. OK. Great. OK. Um, with that, before we go on to other people, I think we have a couple of announcements. And um, Bakr, maybe. Yeah, Abu Bakr, are you there? Hi. I am Hi. here. You're, you're, you're still alive. Hi, Abu Bakr. What? Yeah, I am, I am alive. Um, I've, I've, mi I've missed your notifications. <laughs> yeah, I've missed your face, by the way. Have you, are you, have you taken the hat off in the last 10 days? The what? Have you taken your hat off in the last 10 days? Hat? Which one is that? You are, every time I see you, you're wearing this hat, this blue one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm trying to... No, it's, I'm not using that for now. I'm trying to like change the instead of the hat this time, probably go a little bit more nigger like. So okay. let's see how that would work out. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah. All right, over to you. Okay, uh, good morning, everybody. It's nice to be, to be back. This is uh, week four. Um, we have, I have a couple of announcements, maybe one. Uh, basically, the last week's week two's batch. So we are supposed to um, announce it on Rocket Charts, and uh, we want to make an event of it. And then that's why I want to announce it here on the stand up. As you know from the challenge um, documents, we are supposed to um, award badge for each week. And then we have um, five categories of badge. We have the visualizations, which is the quality of visualizations, understandability, skinnability, and then choice of visualization. We have a winner for that. We have the quality of code who follows the ML um, guideline, the CML, CICD. We have the um, innovative approach to analysis. And then we have the writing and presentation, for example, of how clear it is, the output, the slides, and then the overall production and the rest. And then we have the most supportive in the community who has been asking a lot of questions, who has been networking, who has been talking to the, you know, um, their um, colleagues and the rest of those. And then there are, we award uh, marks um, for each of these winners. In, in this case, we are doing it on a um, four second third basis, where for each um, badge, we have first place, we have second place, and then we have um, third place as well. So I would um, start with the, uh, let's see. With the first place, uh, most innovative um, approach to um, analysis. Here, he uses, I mean, the person that won this, he, he used the, the latest algorithm. He had a research paper, and then there were um, other innovative things that he has considered. And then the winner, um, the winner is Milky Kelly. If you can clap, please clap a round of applause for it, or you just say it's in the academy, that kind of thing. Yeah. Okay, that's for the first um, innovative. Uh, and um, the second most innovative um, approach goes to um, Zalalem Getahun. Yeah, Zalalem Getahun has that. And then the third most innovative goes to um, Deborah. Gabriel Johannes. I hope I'm not butchering any names, but these are the winners for the most innovative approach to analysis. A round of applause for them. And then you can like network them and ask them what they have done so that you can like learn from them. And then, you know, and that's for the uh, most innovative approach. The next one is for the uh, quality of food. The so quality of work. food. Yeah. Uh, let me stop with Tony. Uh, sorry for announcing the next. Okay. Uh, for uh, Daniel, uh, Daniel Salam is the second place. Innovative approach. Okay. 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 Sorry. I probably missed that. All right. All right. Okay. Sorry about the missed up. Um, okay, okay, sorry about the mess up. So, for the um, second most innovative approach, it goes to um, Daniel Zalalem and um, not uh, Zalalem et al. Um, you'll have to wait for that. And um, okay. okay, yeah, for the um, food. Oh, let's see. Yeah, for the quality of votes, um, the winners are. Malek, are you saying something? I can't hear you. Malek? Yeah. Yeah. So it's yeah, the innovative one for the third one is Azaria. Did he? Would. Someone maybe double check in. I think as. He said, yeah. okay. Yeah. Well, okay, sorry. Sorry about that. I'm, I'm missing this up. Okay. Uh, so, sorry. Let me start again. The first um, place for the most innovative approach goes to Milky Bekele. 
And then the second one, the second place goes to Daniel Zalala. And then the third place goes to Azaria Tamarat. Yeah. Okay? Yes, I think that's right. And then for the bad for um, quality of code, um, quality of code, the first place goes to Azaria Tamarat. That's the first place. The second place goes to Elias Adualan. And then the third place, uh, third place is Zalala Gata for the um, quality of goods. And uh, um, which other one do we have? For the visualization, for the visualization, we have the first place goes to Blaze Papa as the first place in terms of visualization. Uh, the second place is for Abraham Gesasi, and then the third place is Saint Michael. That's for the visualization, and then for the report, um, the first place um, is Milky Berkeley. That's the second award is taken. The first place goes to Milky Berkeley. And then the second is for Hugh Fantai. Hugh Fantai. And uh, we don't have a third place for the uh, report. And then the last but not the least um, batch, which I want to be the least, of course, is uh, most supportive in the community. And then the the first person I mean the first place goes to Wase Rachel. Um, the second goes to Boris Pakino Hiwa, and then the third place goes to Jakinda Holich. These um, three people have the um, highest numbers of DMs. They send the highest numbers of message in the public channel, as well as in the um, participating in the um, chit chat and then being available for Google Meet and then asking questions on the public um, channel. So these are the um, winners for the um, week two um, batch. And then this is going to continue for week three as well as week four and the rest of the other weeks. We are going to be posting the names as well on the rocket chat so everybody sees it. And then you start networking with these people and then growing in terms of new friends and tourists. Okay, thank you very much. That's my update. Abu Bakr, maybe one point to make as well is that if you have, if anyone wants to look up people's code, they can also always ask for their GitHub link. And so people can look up their code and learn from how, what exactly they did. Um, but we would really encourage people to look and learn from other people in the batch um, to see how they've done. Um, we also send our best wishes. So first, congratulations to all the badge winners. Um, why do we have badges? We have badges to recognize people who have gone above and beyond and have shown, have shown exceptional work. So congratulations to them. Um, it's a little bit, we tried to, we were a little bit inspired by, um, you, can, you can look at some of the examples. The Olympics are happening right now, or there's bicycle racing, the Tour de France, where they have, there's different categories, people who are exceptional in different ways. And this is why we didn't, just want to have the overall score. We wanted to have um, specific categories. That was important to us. Um, we also, Abu Bakr, hopefully, next time you ask somebody out, you double check the names because you don't want to ask someone out and use the wrong name. So uh, we send our best wishes to you the next time you ask somebody out that you don't um, get get the name wrong. That would be uh, that would be problematic. Of course, I'm, I'm improving on that aspect. Thank you for the <laughs> All right, okay, so we want to, I don't know if there are any other announcements, but before that, I wanted to just go quickly around the room and look for 10 people. Um, just want to know how was last week for you? Should we speed down or slow up? How can we get some more community feeling? And then just a message, uh, just hear how you're doing. So I'm gonna post the questions in the chat. Um, that's anything else. So just uh, unmute and go ahead, or you can raise your hand. Manu, are you ready? Fumbani. Fumbani, you have your hand up?
Yeah, hello, can you hear me? Very well, yeah. Go ahead. All right, all right. Uh, last trip for me was, uh, was a bit cha was challenging, because uh, especially when doing the, they gave us the startup code, the base code for profit, which you do forecast, forecast in using Facebook, which using the Facebook, Facebook profit. So it was, it was a bit challenging for me because, to be honest, I didn't really understand the code. There were a lot of things. So I don't know. I just created my own profit. I just created the, my own solution using the, another profit. So I mean, I didn't use the standard, the, the base code. So I don't know if that's OK. <laughs> why, why wouldn't it be OK? All right. <laughs> no, I just well, it's, just, it's just a question. No, I mean, so we're looking for it. So I think Yevabel is always emphasizing the other tutors as well. This is a we provide guidelines and we provide support, um, but it's not a there's no hard and fast rule. So yeah, I mean I'm saying this without knowing the details, but in terms of approach, 100%. Yeah. All right, all right, then. all right, thanks. Yeah. And also, I also, you manage? I also have a what? So so despite having this challenge, you managed uh, the week's challenge. Yeah, yes, I managed the week's challenge. Though I though I had a problem when I was trying to deploy the app to Heroku. Mm -hmm. It was building success it was building successfully, but then when I tried to go to my website, the website that, that I created, it was giving me an error where it was it was saying that Rocket it was saying that Heroku can't give my my, my web application a, a port. So I tried looking for, I tried researching, doing this and that, but then nothing successful. So I just sent the link, but then my app is not working. Mm -hmm. so I, I, I was actually, I wanted to ask, I wanted to post on Rocket Chat about this, so if anybody figured it out. So I think I'll post it after the stand up. Please do post that and let's see if we can get some other people to help out. Um, that's, that's a good example of a question where diverse input from the community can help. All right. Uh, all right, thank you. So there's two other questions, or three other questions to you. Should we slow down or speed up? Um, how can we get more community feeling? And then one more, one more thought from you. Okay, uh, I think I think the pace is okay. I think now I've gotten used to the pace, and uh, yeah, I've I've learned a lot over time <laughs> in a very in a very short period of time. I've learned a lot of stuff, which is which is something that I like, and. Um, uh, about community engagement, I think yeah, the assignments about working in groups they really they really help to bring people from different areas together. So yeah, I think if we can have more of those, I think that would be it will be able to engage the community much 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 better. Okay, and one more, share tell us one more thing. <laughs> All right, I think one thing that I can tell you is that uh, I think I moved to a new place from. Yeah, I've moved, I've, moved, I've moved to a new place, so yeah, I'm still trying to adapt to the environment. <laughs> okay. We moved yesterday, we moved yesterday on Sunday. So, ah, yeah, right that's now, always difficult. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I think that's all I can say. Okay, great. Who, who's up next? Nine I people choose left. I you can someone. choose somebody else can, yeah, you can choose somebody can raise their hand. You can decide. Right. All right, I think I'll go with one on and put my screen. Half tone. Take clear. Half tone. Half tone. Half tone. Request to everyone if you're speaking, we'd love to see you. So, half tone, I hope you've done your hair. We'd love to see you. Half tone? Okay. We can't hear you. We also can't see you. Okay, so why don't we move on? Does anyone else want to go while we're waiting for Half Tom's internet to behave? Elias or Elias? I'm not sure what the right way is. Elias or Elias? It's Elias. Elias, okay. Can we Elevate can we one? see can we see you? Uh, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess this is a, yeah. We we can start tomorrow. It's one of those things that needs a bit of notice. Yeah. 
Okay. okay. Last okay. Last week was a little bit challenging for me. Like I was a little bit behind on the non-technical tasks, but after by collaborating with other people, I've been able to complete them on time. Mm-hmm. Uh, when it comes to the technical tasks, I've done most of them, but the deployment of uh, the the dashboard on Heroku. If you have TensorFlow on your requirements, the build file gets more than 700 megabytes. Heroku requires the deployed build file to be less than 500 megabytes. So because of that, it didn't work for me. The dashboard works on my local machine, but uh, the deployed version is not working. Except from that, I, I have completed everything. Can you Can you tell me a little bit about design thinking? Uh, uh, like we started by like thro- throwing our ideas first, like what was the challenges they are facing. Mm-hmm. Then based on that, we have prepared our questions to check our assumptions. Mm-hmm. Then we've asked a couple of people. Then based on their answers, we have up- improved our initial assumptions, and then mm-hmm. we talked on how to how can we solve the problem then some ideas came up then we decided on one idea and then we have produced the we have written the final result if you had a hundred dollars are you going to invest in facebook or in google i'm going to invest in google not in facebook okay good should we slow down or should we speed up I think the pace is almost normal. A little bit slow down would be good. Okay. And two other questions. Community feeling plus one other free unstructured input. Okay. Like, I think everything is going pretty well. Uh, The collaboration is pretty good. Like, people collaborate a lot. So that's all. Okay. And one more thing. That's okay. All right. Half Tom, are you back? No? Okay. We're going to go to, I'd like to have a woman speak. Um, who would like to speak? One of the ladies, please. Unmute and go ahead. Otherwise, we're going to pick names. Okay, Half Tom says. So, Half Tom, if you could type, that would be great. Anyone else, if they'd like to go ahead and type, they can also go ahead and type. Um, for one of the ladies, I'm going to go to Jerusalem. Jerusalem, are you there? Yeah. Yeah. Good morning, everyone. Good, Good morning. Uh, okay, uh, let me start with um, last week's challenge. Uh, for me, it was a bit challenging, especially uh, the deep learning part. Uh, it's because I was working uh, with PyTorch uh, model, I mean with a PyTorch. Uh, and then it just makes me hard to work on with TensorFlow. And uh, yeah, it was a bit challenging for me. Uh, except that, and, uh, I think everything is good. Got to know a lot within just a short period of time especially the pandas part. Okay, slow down or speed up? A bit slow down, especially when it comes to deep learning. Okay. And and also time to just read and also to see the tasks. And community feeling, any suggestions? Uh, uh, Yeah, I mean, it's gone on good, but not at the tutorial part. I'm sorry? the tutorial well, part, I mean the tutorial part when it comes to the tutorial, I wanted to be just a bit, uh, I just want to increase when it comes to the tutorial part. More tutorials. Yeah, more tutorials on the deep learning especially. On deep learning, okay. Did you ask for any tutorials? Did you share that with any of the tutors? Mm, of course, I do uh, chat with the with our team, teammates. But, okay. uh, but, so I think this would be one really useful point. If there's a if there's something where a little bit more input is needed, 
please uh, type it in the general channel, and then we can also hear how everyone else is doing. I know it maybe it feels scary to say it to every to say it in front of everyone that I um, need a little bit more input, but it would be it's very important for us to know how the class is doing. Okay. Yeah, and one more thing, one free tuple input. One free what? One input. One other thing to share with the group. One other thing to share with the group. Uh, okay. Um, no, that's no. where I actually I wasn't <laughs> ready for the stand up. So yeah. Okay. Uh... Okay. So we'll do one last one last person. Same. You typed. Uh, tell us a little bit more about how you're feeling. Um, hello, can you hear me? We can hear you very well. Good morning. Um, so last week, I don't know why uh, even simple tasks took, took me way longer than I would expect. And like training the models would take a very long time, hold up my computer. So it's like, getting most of it done took way more time than I expected. And like, I did the least amount of work. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't able to do the work at the level that I expect from my own work. Mm -hmm. And that's, and by the end of the week, I was feeling burnt out, like the motivation to actually even try to finish was slowly diminishing away and mm. that's so the pace i feel like i i would at least i feel like i would benefit from a slower pace mm -hmm. more room to figure out things to experiment but yeah everybody's had the pace is okay so i guess no, but so, so I think this is, it's really important uh, to hear this. Um, and this is why we ask. It takes a lot of, so first, thank you for sharing that. Um, it's normal. And I mean, Yeba, Bell and I are both sitting here beside each other. I think our, our goal has always been to find the point where we, if imagine if you're drinking from a fire hose, it's great as long as you can keep swallowing. And, but once you get over that limit and you're just sort of being, once it goes from drinking water to being waterboarded, um, there's there's quite a big difference. Um, so I don't, we don't have an answer for you just this minute, but we will come back in the course of the day with uh, with a thought because it's most important is to keep learning and to stay motivated. It is normal. I mean, it's it's normal to feel kind of overwhelmed or to feel like, hey, this is difficult. Um, so that's that's good to know. What are you doing to try and stay enthusiastic? And Jakinda, I see you. I'll I'll come to you in a moment. I I I've been trying to decompress, try and take a break, and just commit fully to relaxing because I don't think I've actually taken the time to do that so far. Mm -hmm. And hopefully that will give me the energy I need for the next weeks or week or whatever. So did you have a good Sunday? Did you chill? I don't know what, what is your... Actually, mostly not. I, I had a lengthy breakfast. That was the extent of the fun I had. Okay. My, my dashboard wasn't completed, so I had to work on that. Yesterday? And yeah. No, um, no, that's the whole point. Sun, sun, Sundays are about... Uh, Breakfast, not dashboards. Yeah, by when Saturday came out along, I was not that far along to finish. So, okay, I had to go into Sunday. So, really important to note is that everyone has off weeks. We're going to drop. So, first of all, it's about learning. Second of all, in terms of your score, the bottom two scores will be dropped by the end. Everyone has off weeks. Um, this is partly why jobs are like long-term relationships and in long-term relationships you can also have an off day and that's why you have you get married you have a long-term relationship you do whatever else you're saying um you do whatever whatever however you want to call it 
because it gives you the space to have an off day. And in the same way, we do have space to have an off week here. So to be 100% clear, please do not work on Sundays. Um, it's really important. One of the most important jobs you can do on Sundays is to do nothing. And so using my own example, I took the last uh, week off, maybe a week and a little bit, because it is important to come back refreshed and energetic. So it's very, very important uh, to do that. Because if it's not realistic to be able to work uh, eight to 10 hours a day, seven days a week for a very long time without problems coming up. So I can see a lot of people typing in the chat. Um, yeah, okay. So same, other, other questions. How do you feel about the community feeling? So we've heard last week was hard, we need to slow down. Tell us about the community feeling from your perspective. Um, I, I feel like it takes time to build a community feeling and you also need people to give community activities time. And I don't think most of us have been doing that because you have a bunch of work and then you're like, let me take this time and try to get to know other people or to actually try and figure out the work and then mm -hmm. between that you're probably not gonna focus on trying to build a community or trying to interact with other people or to have fun so i feel like that's the problem for me at least mm -hmm. i don't know about anybody else do you look but... for do you look forward to chatting with other people in the community or is it rather okay they're they're giving marks for this so i feel like i need to type something and then get back to my get back to my coding um i used to find them fun until the when the feelings of like i need to get all of these things done increases mm -hmm. the less fun it is and the more work mm -hmm. it is and so if it's more work for me i just leave it alone yeah just work on it because doing doing it for the sake of having the marks I just don't feel comfortable with that kind of aspect. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Uh, that's that's very useful input. So just to close the loop on that, uh, we don't have an answer for you just this minute, but we'll come back to the entire group in the course of the day. One last input. So I see a lot of other people want to contribute now. Um, do you want to share one last thing? Is it me or is you? It if the same, if you want to oh, share one. There's nothing thing. else. Okay. To... All right. Thank you, Jakinda. Jakinda, you wanted to say something? Yeah. Uh, good morning, guys. Morning. I hope everyone is okay and uh, it's nice. So, to your questions, how was last week? Uh, last week was a little bit of a roller coaster, but uh, I managed to like find my way through it, even if I didn't finish all the, the assignments uh, on time. Uh, I tried to reach the point of making my dashboard, but uh, I couldn't like uh, finish the deployment part. So yeah, that's how it is. Uh, should we slow down or speed up? I would recommend uh, not necessarily a slowdown, but a more informed tutorial session not just uh, a session that you just go through the code or the starter notebook that you guys have provided but also a more informative uh tutorial session and then uh sorry just uh, <clears throat> jakinda just on that what tell me more about that what do you mean uh like uh you see uh normally you just go through the code mm -hmm. and uh yeah like uh if it will be possible to, uh, okay, it's not a matter of like going through lines and lines of code like one by one, but uh, like even if somebody is not going to use like your approach, you might also like give a general approach of how you can also like an alternative approach of how to approach the same goal. Does that make sense? Say it, say it again, please. Like, uh, you see, Dave uh, from Bidu was saying that he couldn't understand uh, Yerba Bell's uh, starter notebook. 
Yeah. So if, for example, uh, you could have like uh, different routes, not necessarily an in-depth route, but uh, an overview of of the flow of how you should like approach it. If you don't understand it like this, you can approach it this other way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So about uh, slowing, so that's about slowing down or speeding up. Uh, about but, you, but Chikinda, just on that, are you asking? So I, I'm still not fully understanding. So you have a task that's been provided. You have a set of tutors that are available to support Yababel. You said you provided starter code. If yeah. it wasn't clear, what prevented anyone from asking that question? Uh, that's where I'm going next. <laughs> like uh, people, people, people are communicating. Uh, in the chat, yes, but not as much, especially last week. Mm -hmm. I noticed that people are like uh, too overwhelmed, I think, mm -hmm. and that contributed to them not talking in the chats. And also, they just, if you, I, I DM'd most people, I, I talk to a lot of people, and I try asking them how they're doing and how they are. And most of them were just saying that they're too tired. So that will come to my next recommendation or mm -hmm. suggestion. Mm. Maybe in the next cohorts, if the, the cohort is supposed to be 12 weeks, right? Yeah. Yeah, maybe you can extend it to 15 weeks. So you have first four weeks, and then a week break, the second four weeks, then a week break, then the final four. So that way at least some people have like time to, to adjust and to cool down and relax, something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so any anything else to add, I might say that uh, let's learn to take breaks. Because uh, I, I, I hit a major blocker uh, when I was doing my tasks last week. And uh, just by taking a break and talking to a friend, and uh, he decided to help me figure out the, 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 the blocker, I just realized it was a small thing. And that we did in like 30 minutes, and it took me, it took me hours because I just didn't want to take a break and just and step down. So yeah, so learn to take breaks, even if it's 20, 15 minutes break, take a walk maybe watch a comedy or something, and then you can come back and, what? and try again. Any comedy, also, any comedy recommendations, Chicken? Uh, I watch Sanfords and Sons, and uh, oh, Kate told me to watch Never old. Have I Ever. That's old school. Kate told me, yeah, Kate told me to watch Never Have I Ever, and I actually enjoyed it. So yeah, so just chat with people in Rocket Chat, also ask questions, and life becomes better. Yeah, absolutely, and that's that's an important point to make. So I think this dialogue is important. Um, it's good for us to hear everyone hates Chris. Yeah, maybe we can put some recommendations for what people should write, what people should watch. Um, who's next, Not Nail? Is it, or what's the order of, yeah, Not Nail? Hi, everybody. Good morning. Okay, uh, my thoughts isn't that much different from the others. So last week was a bit uh, hard for me also but I took a different kind of approach when holding the problems. Uh, like I tried to do what I know first, then try to read or get done with what I don't know to catch up, but I didn't manage to finish them, especially uh, I didn't understand this, the deep learning uh, concept and everything. And my fault uh, is also I haven't asked uh, for it uh, on help so this week I will try to participate more and expose myself uh, to the group on the rocket chat as much as I can. And I will try to ask for help uh, despite my ego. And I will try to work on it as much as I can. Uh, and I, I have been trying to see other people GitHub account, how are they approaching it. And I think I'm trying, I am learning from their codes, like how to write a readme file. My readme files were used to be so small and everything. So I try how I learn how they are doing, how they are organizing their code and everything. So I could uh, do better on the coming weeks, but uh, it takes time. And hand, that is the programming aspect of that thing. But uh, this the data analysis and machine learning part, I need to ask, uh, really ask for help from uh, my friends who got the concept like in their kind of right way so they could uh, teach me in a more simplified 
kind of in a like teaching a four year old baby kind of method not just this is the code this is what you do and everything no i sometimes don't understand that like understanding the basic logic like a little baby would do uh, would be better for me uh, and i'm hoping for the better of this week uh yeah that's it for me okay Zalalem. okay thank you can you hear me yeah very well Okay, first, uh, welcome back, Arun. Thank you. Yes, okay. And uh, what I want to talk about is that I just stayed silent first because I thought maybe I'll be complaining too much. Because uh, when I started week one, it was tough. Then at week, at week two, I, I thought I had some experience that I'll make week two better, but it was tougher. Then the third week, I decided I've learned from experience. I'll manage my time better. Then week three, week two and week one will be my two worst weeks out of the all weeks. I said that at the start of the third week. But right now I am here and I think week three is my worst out of the, all the, the three weeks. And uh, since week one, I was almost, yeah, almost all the three weeks I was working on the Sundays because I couldn't finish on time. There is always one thing, either the dashboard or the blog. And on the third week, it was both of them. We had both of them at the last. Both the dashboard and the blog. And especially the blog, I think it takes a lot of time to brainstorm, to structure your writing, something like that. And the other thing that took a very lot of time was the non-technical assignments this week. Mm -hmm. Almost it took us, I think, for this one, uh, a day and a half or something for the two assignments. So I just uh, couldn't manage to handle all the tasks. So I think uh, slowing down is a very necessary point. So I think slowing down will be good. and. Uh, as it was said on the chat, I think having a one week break will do us a lot of good things. Mm -hmm. I think in that time we could uh, manage, we can structure our code, we could learn from uh, our peers' uh, GitHub codes, a lot of things, a lot of best practices. And we could, uh, most of all, we could get rest, mm -hmm. a little bit refreshment. So, so Zelam, can, can I ask you one simple question? How come how come nobody said this before, or has it been said? Maybe I was just sitting and I was sitting there drinking coffee. About the that you need it, that that one needs a break. How how it was said on the chat here. Uh, this at uh, at the no, message bef box. No, before okay, uh, before today before today. Uh, I so, don't know. Maybe it was just about two weeks. I think, uh, as I said, uh, I was planning to make each the coming weeks better. So I yeah. thought that for the next week, I'll do great. I'll have my Sundays uh, as a rest day. So I'll be fresh for the next, then I'll be motivated. But uh, I think every time it's getting a little bit tougher. OK. Thanks. So, um, Michael? Hello. Morning. Can you hear me? Good yeah. morning. Good morning. Um, yeah. Uh, last week was a big hectic for me. Um, uh, I had a power outage, and uh, I wasn't able to like to complete like the full. I, I tried to complete tasks, but uh, I did it in the minimum requirements. Um, yeah. M I spent like most of my Saturdays looking for a place to like uh, work on. Um, yeah. And uh, yeah, most of the place I know was uh, ha worked half time, and yeah, um, most of my time was like uh, most of my time was taken uh, looking for looking for a place. Mm, but I have some little math assignments, but it was like uh, the worst the worst performance I've done so far. Mm, yeah. Just just on that, um, Mikhail or Michael. Um, I think it would be nice to contact. I mean, I, I always offering 
for some people who are struggling. Also, if you are in a this, we have an office space where you know per day, few people up to four people could just go and sit, and that's the people probably you already know. They are uh, who's occupying the office are from batch three. So if anyone like I'm just I think I last last week also I said it. If you are struggling with power, internet, and if you just need to do, you know, you can reach out to me and then I can give you a number where you can just go. It's near um, Edna Mall. So, it, yeah, you shouldn't, you shouldn't, like these things, last time we didn't have, now we have space. So it may not be for everyone, but at least per day, about three, four people could just um, have a desk to work until late, you know, because most people work there also late. So. Yeah, just take that advantage um, in that scenario. But yeah, good to just remember that. So I wanted to just wrap up. So I, I wanted to just wrap up. Uh, so we've gone uh, way over time. We're 20 minutes over on the stand up. Um, so Fumbani, we see your question. That's part of the dashboard that we want to put together. Um, I don't think we're ready with that yet, but we will. We are working on that, so we will be preparing something where you can get that feedback. Um, so, two points that I wanted to emphasize: one is if you have, if people are struggling, everyone who is in this group is at a similar level. So, don't assume that it's just you. You should rather assume that you are one. Um, you are an indicator, and you have other people are feeling in the same way. So we don't, you should speak up. And this is why we have quite an emphasis on core hours, people are available, our doors are open. So the, the mindset that you should adopt is that we should communicate. And this the problem solving approach should change from I am in school and I want to do really well on my exam. And that's why I can ask other people for assignments, but I need to be, um, I need to be so successful that I can manage everything on myself, manage everything by myself. It should change to a group solving mindset. And it's difficult for me to put that into, we haven't, I don't have a exact words for how to describe it or a, a method, but what we've seen in the past is that when there is a challenge to be solved and everyone works and says, I found resource A or I found technique one, two, three, then the group progresses very quickly and one also has fun along the way. And so I would like people to, if you have a challenge, share that challenge, discuss with other people. And we've heard it from others. One gets new input and you're fortunate to have a community of similar other people who are probably, at least a few others are facing similar challenges. So we've seen a lot of feedback. I think almost everyone has said, has given us feedback today. And so that's, um, that's really useful. And the second point that I want to, make is that rest is also part of your work um, you guys are not a web server and you can't be up all the time so anyone who reads that elon musk or jeff bezos works 18 hours a day seven days a week i think they're only hearing part of the story so do not underestimate the value of rest if people have been working on sundays because they feel like they need to do everything by themselves i think that's actually um, then we're not doing a great job at making sure that the community is staying physically healthy um, and also performing at the top of their game. So those are two two points of feedback. We've heard everyone. We'll come back to you today. Um, yeah. So I, I think it's great. I think I, I don't have anything else to add other than, so there are two options maybe that you could vote if, or already in a rocket chat. So one probably, for example, is to us still ask the week this week's challenge to be submitted on Saturday, and then just give you some um, break next week, or extending just that this week to be just the two weeks. So this week and next week, um, and then that means you will slowly kind of you can rest and work um, and finish it in two weeks. So whichever you prefer or whichever you think, whatever, put your bots in rocket chat at least so that when we discuss we can consider this different and if you think also on other options how you want to take the you know the, the kind of extended week break or something like that maybe just also write it in rocket chat so that we have a much more more 
view of what can be done, what should be done, such that you feel you don't feel burnout, um, but you feel more treated and kind of rested, and and you are in your game with your full power and energy. So, so and to follow that up, we're going to be announcing the next week's challenge, <laughs> or you have it, and so there'll be a tutorial on that. Um, which I'm smiling because we're going to get there and we're going to get there together, um, even if it's a lot of work. Our job is not to, um, this is not Highlander, and our job is, our goal is not to kill you. Um, our goal is not to kind of be left with one person. We want to make sure that everyone who's here has the opportunity and gets the support to finish and to be job ready. So we're there, we're there with you. Um, don't stress, take a deep breath, go watch some bad TV. Um, Amon says, uh, who wants to take a rest on Saturday? Yeah, everyone's free to submit as early as they can, as early as they want. Saturday's the deadline. It doesn't have to be uh, Saturday at night. So yeah, people can take a rest on Saturday instead of Sunday. That's absolutely possible. Um, Amon, I know we had somebody in our last batch who was submitting on Friday nights. He ended up doing very, very well. So everyone, as my my 11 year old son is the master of chilling and he he always says to me look i need to chill and so everyone here also needs to make sure that so first realize you're not alone second we're also on your side we're going to come back to you today as you have said let us give us your ideas and we'll come up with a solution together um, and the third is let's adopt a mentality of solving things together so the tutorial is as per the schedule um, we'll see you guys on rocket chat um, but yeah, thank you for thank you for sharing, and I am confident that we'll find a way together. If you guys have any other questions, one-on-one -on -one chats will be start to be scheduled uh, in the coming weeks. We have a lot of other stuff coming up: challenges, non-technical challenges, um, other stuffs going to be coming down the line. But you guys know where to find us. So thank you, everyone, and it's great to be back. Bye, everyone. Are you stopping?